Welcome, today we're going to talk about the Obsidian Strange New Worlds plugin, or SNW as it is often abbreviated. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Memberships get all my courses, or you can just take an individual course, curtismichael.ca slash education. Links below, or if you're on Skillshare, you can find links to my courses on Skillshare below as well. Buckle up, let's look at the Strange New Worlds plugin. Now the whole point to building a PKM, Personal Knowledge Management, second brain, whatever you want to call it. System is to connect notes and to find new connections to build knowledge to produce something, I, I would say. I think that's a crucial part of it, not just to take notes and build knowledge, but to actually produce something, whether that's being a better person, you know, better discussions, lots of people do writing content, that's what a lot of YouTube people do, uh, writing books, stuff like that. Um, you know, getting to know things. And the hardest part is actually making those connections. I think actually probably the hardest part of that is making time. So Let's assume you do have the time. You do sit down regularly and spend the time on that. Use your time for that, for making connections, for working your notes. If you do that, Strange New World is a tool you can use to help surface those very visibly to you, the connections, other things that relate to current notes um, right away easily for you, which can help actually making these connections. So what you can see right here is my note literally on this plugin right now. Uh, and what I've done in here is add a backlink to the Dunning-Kruger effect. And this is where we start to see Strange New Worlds. It's this little 12 right here. So this is going to show me all the other notes that are linked to Dunning-Kruger effect, right? I can hover over it. I can open it in the sidebar as well, if I wanted. I can close the sidebar again. I can come in and I can open up a new tab. If I hold Command, I believe it'll open it in a new tab. Uh, I can open it, uh, open it to the right as well. Open link to the right, so that's two Dunning Kruger effect. Unfortunately, um, I can't open the say this barking up the wrong tree. There's no two click or right click here for me to open this say to the right if I want to have a split. All I can do is open it in a new tab. I could then make a split, drag the tab over. Yes, we can do that, but I can see all the other notes where it links to Dunning Kruger effect. Right, I can say barking up the wrong tree. Expertise means humility is another one I have note on it, or less capable people advocate more. Um, so this that actually means that the less capable people, the least you know about something, the more you say, I'm right. Uh, whereas the more you know about something, the more you're willing to put caveats on it because you understand the full extent of the field. So that's what Strange New Worlds does. Um, there are some settings for it as well. I've never really touched them because there's a lot uh, in there. All right, we come into our plugin and we search for strange you get the gear for it options so there's lots of different ones so uh, when it will show the counter right uh, it's currently set to one so if there's more than one backlink it'll show that little counter beside if there's only one backlink it won't show you and then the maximum file references to show right set to a thousand or set to a thousand for no maximum set to 100 so it's going to show me 100 notes in that popover um, how we start up mobile desktop everything else how do we do our view modes a bunch of other stuff i think that if you're really into it and you really need to like deep dive into this, there's lots of settings. You can change lots of how it works. But for most people, you don't need this. And you're going, it's very easy to spend a lot of time tinkering with all of these Obsidian plugins, with all of these tools, and then produce very little with it. So I would say only really dig into these if you say, hey, there's a feature that I want. I wish it worked like whatever. I wish it changed how it could change how it worked. And then look at the setting. Otherwise, just use it. Now you can also do a few things you can see in here. Um, you have some YAML settings, so YAML you would put at the top of your document, like uh, this, what is it, dash, 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 dash. So this is not going to render properly, so let's go back up to the top of our document, or let's even do a split, split right. So now we can see the top of our document, and if I did dash, 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 now it's YAML, and I can use two different filters, so SNW index exclude true. So this means a file will not be included in my display count. So where we had uh, our backlink right here, so it won't be included in that right there. So that's one thing you can do to exclude files you don't want. The other one right here is file exclude true, um, which means do not display the number of links in this file. So if I did send so w file exclude true, we should See, it might take a few seconds. This should disappear based on their settings. Now, I did also find that when you're using it, it takes uh, a few minutes, not even a few minutes, it takes maybe 30 seconds for a new file when you add a link in there for it to show up that you actually have um, like the number, right? So I said 12 in case of Dunning-Kruger effect. 
so that it takes a little while for it to show up because it actually has to wait for it to be indexed and then it can show it. There's also a few plugins it's incompatible with, so it will not show up in Excaladra, in the Kanban plugins, or in the Tasks plugin. It just doesn't show up there. Now, none of these actually stop SNW from working, but they're just not going to show you the backlinks in there. So if I went to a Kanban board, you wouldn't see that there's you know a whole bunch of links to a specific note. This is really only in your notes, in your standard notes um, to see it. It does work in Canvas, but it does not work in those other, say, Excaladra, Kanban, and the Tasks plugin. Other than that, SNW is a good tool to have in your arsenal to help you make connections. And when you see that you know, pop over with the number of backlinks to something or the number of other notes that link to that same thing, it can help you take the time to really go and reference what other links there are, what other notes there are, so you can make more links and generate more, uh, I guess, interdependence or more content between your different notes. That's it. Uh, you'll find links to uh, download and install. You'll find it on GitHub. And you also have a link directly to where it is in the Obsidian, in your Obsidian instance, because there's a universal link there. Other than that, you can support the channel by becoming a member at curtismichael.ca slash membership, or you can take a course at curtismichael.ca slash education. Thumbs up, like, bell, YouTube, you know, stuff like that. Have an awesome day.